A lot of dudes talk tough, I am real talk. I'm never lose sight of the reason why I'm here for. I went MIA but never took a year off. I was cooking up the Tyson flow to bite your ear off. We all have elements of doubt in our head and we all have that small voice or big voice that tells us that we can't, so you just have to believe in yourself. I think in time I've learned to get over my nerves with confidence, be more positive in myself and believe in myself more. After my water skiing career, it was a coping mechanism dealing with my dad's death. I get driven when I see other people benefiting from, you know, what I give to them. I love what I do. I could succeed in a sport or become a world champion, and I'd say it's nearly on par with helping other people. There's just something about it. Well, bring back Titi. Go. Hey, beautiful. For young aspiring boxers coming through, not to be too hard on yourself. I think we're all our own worst critic. And also be patient and learn things properly. Learn how to crawl before you walk. Definitely, I would say, biggest inspiration would be the team. It's about family and loyalty. My coach is Billy Hussain. Sort of became a friend before anything else. It was when I was in a low point in my life and he just came along and helped me out. He doesn't normally train girls. He taught me a lot of life lessons. You know, just little things like if I was late or if I talked back in training. It was all about respect and loyalty and showing him respect in the gym. It was tough love. It's crucial to take time away from training. I have a connection with the ocean. It brings me a sense of peace that I wouldn't get anywhere else. I'm very pedantic about certain things. The clothes that I wear, my good luck socks. If she looks at me in the eye, if she turns away, I know I've got her. been the dream of mine to compete at an elite level. I'm Lauren Eagle and I'm a professional boxer.